Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. The Great Unicorn Chase. And this joint gonna be not just on my men's channel, but my women's channel too. Because this is a major thing and I'm gonna focus this mainly on black relationships. Though, it could be applied um, to overall relationships uh, increasingly to overall relationships, but not to the same extent, though. It's happening, though, because, well, black people are the canary in the uh, coal mine, right? But in my view, in my view, after dealing with, uh, with relationships in, um, I'll say, professional capacities since the 90s, one of the things that keeps popping up is... Of course, the male selection, I mean, yeah, the uh, black female selection criteria and then the male selection criteria. Now, of course, I talk mostly since uh, my books are primarily for men and uh, my main videos are for men. I talk about the black female selection criteria a lot, how, you know, black women put men into black men into two general categories for dating which is select and non-select. And of course, the select guys are generally the, uh, you know, men they find sexually attractive and also the guys with uh, very high incomes, right? And, but I don't talk as much about the male selection criteria. I've talked about it, but I don't talk about it as much. And basically, the men are chasing, like, uh, what my mentor will call icons, you know, those uh, perfect tens, the video women, uh, the IG thought, all of that. Even if they, even though many don't want to admit to that, that's a big factor, right? And what it comes down to, though, are unicorns. Because many women, even when they deal with select men, deep down they want that unicorn. You know, and I mean... Even to the point of, I mean, they will even say it. If you, if, especially if you pay attention to a lot of women's channels, they're saying it. You know, that guy got to be handsome, muscular, you know, be able to dress well, got money, and willing to deal with the woman regardless of what she's not bringing to the table. You know, it's that total fantasy thing, that unicorn. Because especially in the black community, I mean, if you really look at it, if you really look at as you go up in like money and everything, there's fewer and fewer men. And then you asking those men, right, to also, you know, be like look like fashion models and stuff. And don't and ladies don't act like y'all don't do that. Please don't. Please don't. Okay. All right. We know that's there. Yeah, other guys who ain't those things get the women, but if you saying what the women are really looking for, that's it. And then with the men, the men out there, the men don't escape this. <laughs> the men don't escape this. Deep down, dudes want that IG model. You know, that sexy woman and stuff. Because there's plenty of women. You know, you got a lot of brothers out here talking about, uh, you know, these women out here with baggage and been ran through by Pookie and Ray Ray. And, you know, got four or five kids. But if you really look at it, according to stats, and people been talking about this stat lately. You know, you're talking about 36 to 40 percent of black women, adult black women don't have children. And then, you know, for them, for people to say, well, all these women been ran through by Pookie and Ray Ray. Um, ain't that many Pookie and Ray Rays. You know, it's like all these women, you get some guys actually think that way. But then if you really then if you break it down, they know it ain't all these women, but it's the women that they're looking at. It's the women they looking at, you know, the big booty Brenda's and stuff. And see, guys get mad when I when I point that shit out. But let's be real. Let's let's just cut the bullshit. You know, we complaining about the women's standard, but men, we doing the same thing. So both sides are implicated in all of this, and both sides are chasing unicorns. Both sides are chasing unicorns. I mean, we know about the unicorns, uh, women chasing. Uh, like I said, you know that that. Tall, you know, that very tall guy got the money and then put up with anything and take her baggage, maybe raise her kids if she got some or, you know, ignore that you know, she's not bringing the same level of beauty to the table. 
Oh yeah, that's a unicorn. And then you get some women, you get some women pass over some very good guys. And it's a men, it's a men the same way. And of course, you know, like I said, you got a few, I mean, a few on both sides got some common sense and realistic and everything. And those are usually the people that find relationships a bit easier. And able to be happy with somebody. But you get a you get a lot of guys, especially um, you know, we talked about the women, especially the guys, the guys, too many guys. And I've told this, in fact, uh, and someone just do a video in response to one of my videos talking about, you know, with the men with money going to want, which is, I mean, look, they're going to they gonna want those very beautiful women. They, they want the trophies, too. You know, but then it's a problem when guys who when women who aren't all that want that like top guy and then men who aren't all that want that top woman you know it's unrealistic now women doing it you know what women by nature get more in their emotions have those standards and we rightly call it out as men but then i talk to a lot of guys and you know be like well hold up dude you don't got a pot to piss in you would never get a, a big following of females on Instagram or something. You know, got a fucked up personality. But you want that fine ass woman. Oh, you you want her with very limited sexual experience and shit. Oh, and all about you. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. It does it, it, seriously, that whole unicorn thing. Look, let me tell you what. Every every single person out here. I, I, you nobody can come on uh, the thread on my men's channel or my women's channel saying they present some perfect shit where they deserve some perfect shit. Nobody, I'm, I wouldn't even say that shit. Every everybody got everybody got something positive about them, but everybody got something they need to be working on. And you know, physically, I don't think anybody. I, I you can't show a human being who's like physically perfect on any level even by a lot like the doctors say you know what their body working perfectly all the teeth are where they're supposed to be uh they totally symmetrical and stuff they don't have any hair follicles out everybody got some yet people want that mate who's who's going to be damn near perfect oh and all about them <laughs> let's let's forget that you know you got some women out there you know they you you know they chasing that unicorn oh but they want him to be loyal just to them and you get some guys out there well they want that woman you know she ain't gonna look at any other guy it's like come on y'all come on you know and that, that you know we in in these relationships i'm gonna tell you what like i said i've been dealing with this for well over 20 years and as i alluded to earlier when people are realistic, realistic about who they are, what they have to offer, you know, what they can actually get, things work out a whole lot better. Like the best couples I've seen have not been like drop dead gorgeous couples. I remember, you know what, one time I, I did this uh, relationship seminar, right? And I was actually standing in for somebody else. He let me have his spot. He, for some reason, he didn't feel like doing it. Or he told me something. I have a feeling he just didn't feel like doing it. But you know, I showed up and stuff, and it was a it wasn't a black crowd. It, we had a few blacks in the audience, but it was uh, primarily white, right? And I remember I was talking about um, I was getting doing my deeper stuff, like you know I was talking about the sexual id and everything like that, and you know how you know people who are similar in many ways can find each other. And I remember there was a goth couple in there. When I started talking about this, and they just looked at everybody looked, they looked at each other. Everybody looked at them, and the whole room just started laughing. And they they were good natured about it, but they knew it. They were right. You see them together, it was like, damn, y'all just look right together, you know, people. But they were realistic. Yeah, you see some people who may not be society's version of drop dead gorgeous or have society's idea of success, but they happy with each other because they realistic about what they bring into the table and stuff. They're not looking for unicorns and everything, you know. It's like it's just bottom line. People got to get out of that because you got people. I've, I've met men and women they're in their forties and fifties and sixties still looking for their unicorn, and that shit's crazy because uh, unicorns don't exist. All right, if they did, they've been long extinct. People got to be realistic about their shit. 
and like I started this off talking about black relationships. I can I guarantee, I guarantee a lot of the relationship dysfunction would disappear if people get out of the fantasies and start dealing with real people and stop chasing unicorns. That's all I got for today, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>